Okay, so we're excited. Our next little segment here, uh, we are doing based on comments in our group that people have talked about, and we just had to do it at home. Um, I think the first time I heard about this, I guess it was close to a year ago, maybe early on, but what it is, it's vanilla honey. Vanilla infused honey. Vanilla infused honey. We had never thought about vanilla infused honey. And all these creative things that are being posted in our group, and we've seen a lot of people that have asked about it. We're gonna add this recipe to the website. Uh, you'll see it here in the next week. We'll have this video as part of the recipe. But we're gonna make some vanilla infused honey right here. So Jill, take it away. You know, I guess we didn't add it to the website because it's so easy. We just didn't think about doing it. No, but we're gonna add this to the website. You'll see it out in the next week yep. or so. Yep. Okay, so really the ratio of honey to vanilla is uh, just a one-to-one. -one. So I've got one cup of honey to one bean. Super easy. So if you're out and you're making extracts, uh, you've got a bean, it's already out. You just um, plop it into your honey. Um, and then after a week, um, then you, you, you open it up and you test it out and see um, what you think. Uh, this is really subjective as well because um, some people leave it in uh, longer, some people think in a week it's, it's uh, ready. But just start checking it about a week in and then see what you think. So all you're going to do, same thing as I showed you earlier, and I already did this, split the beans down the middle and then I just cut them in half so it would fit into my nice pretty little jar. And you know, again, we talked about uh, where we got like the bourbon from um, Sugar House uh, Distillers, local company. When you're buying honey, you know, it's one of those things you can buy local, farmer's yeah. market. You I know. think I got this one just at, um, down the road. Some guy was selling it. It was just local honey. <laughs> just harvest his own honey. And yeah. so again, just in the spirit of supporting everyone around you, fresh honey, um, yeah. bring it home from someone nearby and just take a vanilla bean and it only takes one, cut it up, Throw it in, and, and then we wait. And how easy would this be to gift with a uh, fresh loaf of bread? Oh, my heavens. Right? Like, here we are. We're getting into this holiday season where you're going to get a lot of chocolate and goodies and sweets. And sometimes you just want something that's just a little mild. You know, you could just gift a nice, fresh loaf of bread with a little bit of honey. Debbie said, I made vanilla honey a couple of weeks ago. I tried it yesterday, and it was amazing. I also did Two one weeks. with vanilla beans. Whoops, I lost your comment. It scrolled up. Um, one with vanilla bean and cinnamon sticks. Both oh. are so good. Debbie, it's like you read our mind. She is one step ahead You're of us. You're one step ahead of us, Debbie. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead now and make our second. Now, what's interesting about what Debbie said while you're setting this up, it's ready in like two weeks. Yeah. And you start getting that vanilla flavor through the honey almost immediately. And you so. can put it on, um, on top of your oatmeal in the morning. You can put it in your tea. I mean, you can put it you know, on your toast on top of pumpkin scones. Oh Come on. Gosh. I mean, really, this sounds so good. So, the next recipe, since we had all of these fun holiday ingredients out already, I thought, hey, I've got honey, I've got vanilla and nutmeg and cinnamon. Let's just throw that in. So, I've got the same thing. I've got one bean split in half. I've got one cinnamon stick split in half. And I've got one uh, nutmeg that's crushed. Um, I stopped there. I wanted to add uh, maybe some cloves, um, but I wasn't quite sure and I didn't want to have it be overwhelming. So I stopped here. In a week, I'm gonna test it um, because you know, cinnamon can be overwhelming sometimes. And I didn't want to have too many flavor uh, profiles in there that you know, we're just muddled together. So I stopped there, but I may add a little bit of cloves, maybe even a little allspice into there. We'll just see. We'll just see. But I mean, how beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous, you guys. Should I hold that up? Yeah, Take it to the camera? Yeah, up close here? The top both. Part of that. So these are fun gifts, and they can be ready in no time at all. So here's the spice. If you can kind of see it, maybe you can. And you'll see those And then specs. just the vanilla bean. The specks will come out into the vanilla and then you'll remove like the cinnamon and all and the, um, anything else that you add into it. If you want to gift it pretty like this, just put a little note on it and say remove this in one week and you'll be ready to go. Yep. Either way will be a wonderful gift. 
Can you use a bean for the vanilla honey that has been used in another batch uh, instead of putting the bean in the mother jar? Sure, uh, especially if you put the bean in whole. It's another reason that you use whole beans instead of split beans in your extract, because you have all those uses. So pull it out. I would let it dry maybe overnight, get the, some of the alcohol on it. Yeah. So you, if, like again, if it's in bourbon, I don't know that you want to get the bourbon taste inside yeah. the honey, but you absolutely you can. can use well, just take the caviar out and put the caviar in because you're not extracting extracting the bean into the honey. You're purely just wanting to get you know that caviar out and. Um, yep, this is know, one where you want to split it. You want to split yeah. the, the beans and the honey because uh, you want those little caviar seeds. Yeah. So that is it. That is how you make vanilla honey. It's so simple, so easy. It can be used immediately. It's a great gift for the holiday season. So if, if you're too late getting started on the extracts, maybe you consider vanilla honey, vanilla sugar, all these other things we talked about. Well, and there's been a hot topic on the group lately of different types of cinnamon, the Saigon cinnamon versus the Ceylon. Um, one is a little milder than the other. Um, look it up, Google it, and you decide um, which one that you like. There you go. And there's different uh, cinnamons you can get from like Jamaica and other places and each one has sort of a different taste and flavor profile and we can do a whole other episode just on cinnamon. Maybe we'll do that <laughs> as we get later. But we try to stay focused on vanilla here as much as we can. I put my honey in fruit roll-ups. Oh, think oh. about the combination I can make is blowing my mind. Apple roll-up, banana pineapple. I'm assuming, I wonder, are these homemade roll-ups that you make? Those must be absolutely wow, wonderful. Wow, Michelle, that sounds delicious. That sounds, Michelle Hood Rose, that sounds delicious. So 